Hey guys, we are continuing solving problems from Halliday Resnick Walker. Here we'll be solving 14th problem based on Coulomb's law, chapter 21 from 8th edition. Okay, 8th edition. Uh, I'll just read out the question. Uh, in figure A, particle 1 of charge Q1 and particle 2 of charge Q2 are fixed in place on an x-axis uh, 8 cm apart. Particle 3 of charge Q3 equal to plus 8 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. Q3 uh, Q3 is equal to plus 8 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb is to be placed on the line between particles 1 and 2 so that they produce a net force on particle on uh, net force f3 net on it figure b gives the x component of that uh, force versus the coordinate x at which particle 3 is placed uh, the scale of x axis is set by x uh, s equal to of q1 and the ratio q2 by q1 We'd find out two things. One, we'd find out sine of Q1. Is it positive or negative? And then we had find out Q2 divided by Q1, ratio of the two. Particle 1 with a charge of Q1, particle 2 with a charge of Q2. Particle 1 is positioned at the origin. Particle 2 is positioned at 8 centimeters. Okay. Now you have third particle, Q3. You place that third particle in between the two charges at different positions here, then here, then here, then here at different positions between one and two. If you are changing position of Q3, then distances between the charges change. So net force on particle three will change. And how does that change? That is given by this graph. That is given. And here in the graph, this scale is set by X. S is equal to eight centimeters. Up to excess, you have four divisions. So each division is two centimeters. So this is two here, four here, six here, and then eight here. We'll find out first sine of Q1. Sine of Q1. But I'll do that. Graph uh, information from the graph is sufficient for us to find out sine of Q1. We have charge Q1 here. Q2 here and Q3 somewhere here. Q3 will experience two forces, one from uh, particle 1 and one from particle 2. And there will be some net force. If I take this Q3 closer and closer and closer to Q1, I'm placing Q3 very close to Q1, extremely close to Q1. Then remember, uh, Coulomb's law, force is gamma Q1 Q2 divided by R squared. So force is inversely proportional to square of the distance. If R is made extremely small, tending to zero, then F goes to infinity. So there's an infinite force. There's a huge force that three experiences from one. Now that force is tending to infinity. And anything compared to infinity is negligible. So Particle 3, which is experiencing two forces, one from particle 1, the other from particle 2. So net force on 3, F3 net, is equal to F3 1 plus F3 2. Force on 3 due to 1 plus force on 3 due to 2. Now you have positioned Q3 extremely close to Q1. So this thing is huge. This thing is negligible. If this is very huge, very large, very large, tending to infinity, then whatever the value of this one is going to be negligible. So net force on particle 3 is going to be just from particle 1. Okay, is going to be just from particle 1. And from the graph, from the graph, when Q3 is very close to Q1, that means very close to origin. Okay, very close to origin. Very close to origin is here then force goes on this side this is the positive side then force on q3 is positive and positive force means force is in positive direction so force on 3 is in positive direction is this way now clearly that force is a repulsive force 
for, for repulsive force you need charges to be like charges so if q3 is positive which is given q3 is positive that is given to us so q1 must also be positive q1 must be positive because repulsive force is there between them so they must be like charges if one of them is positive the other one has to be positive okay so we concluded we just concluded the sign of q1 sign of q1 is positive q1 is a positive charge okay q1 is a positive charge we can similarly find sign of q2 if we place q3 very close to q2 and very close to q2 means very close to 8 centimeters okay very close to 8 centimeters then net for then uh, net force on it will be only because of two this will be huge this time force on three due to two will be huge and this will be negligible this is going to be huge and this is whatever the value is going to be negligible so net force on three will be only because of two okay only because of two the other one can be neglected only because of two and from the graph we come to know that uh, as the graph goes closer and closer to eight centimeters force increases on the negative side so force is negative negative force means it's in the negative direction so force on three is in negative direction now clearly you can see that force is a repulsive force between the two q2 is here q3 is here there's a repulsive force q2 is repelling q3 if it is repelling q3 they must be like charges q3 is positive so q2 must also be positive so all the three particles are actually positive okay all the three particles are actually positive rather, rather i should say q1 and q2 are like q3 q3 is positive q1 and q2 are positive if q3 were negative then q1 and q2 would also be negative according to the graph shown to us fine so that's the first part we have to find our sign we did that ne next we have to find our ratio of q1 and q2 by q1 that again we'll uh, find from the graph graph tells us that if q3 is placed at two centimeters here two centimeters between the two charges the net force is zero the net force is zero so we have q1 we have q3 q1 is at zero position q3 is at eight centimeters and q2 we are placing at two centimeters q3 okay three uh, two centimeters and all of them are positive all of them are positive now q3 will experience a repulsive force from one so f3 one and three will also experience repulsive force from two this one is two here So that will be this way, F3, 2. Now question tells, graph tells us that at 2 centimeter position, net force is 0. And net force is 0, that means the magnitudes of these two forces must be same. Okay, magnitudes must be same. This distance is from 0 to 2, that is 2 centimeters. And this distance is 8 minus 2 is 6 centimeters. Now at x equal to 2 centimeters net force on 3 is 0 that would mean these two must be same in magnitude so f3 uh, f3 2 is equal to f3 1 so this implies gamma q3 q2 divided by 3 and 2 are separated by 3 and 2 are separated by 6 centimeter distance so 6 square is equal to f31 is gamma q3 q1 divided by these two are separated by two centimeter distance uh, both of them are in centimeters so they'll cancel out so we don't need to convert the units gamma and gamma cancels out q3 and q3 cancels out so this implies q2 divided by q1 q1 we are taking downstairs here is equal to 6 square is 36 divided by 2 square is 4 so this means q2 divided by q1 is 9. 
So this is the ratio of the two. Remember, they are like charges. Both of them are positive. So ratio is also positive. Okay. So we don't need to introduce any sign. It's already positive. Q2 divided by Q1 is 9. Okay. Q2 divided by Q1 is 9. Fine. 